Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is square root of x under square root of x under square root of x under square root of x is equal to 4. To find the value of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, to remove this outer square root, we'll square on both sides. So, from our problem, which is square root of x under square root of x under square root of x under square root of x is equal to 4. So, in the first step, we'll square it in both sides. So, this square root will cancel with this square. Then it will be this, which is x square root of x under square root of x under square root of x is equal to 4 square. Then in the next step, we'll remove this square root here. So we'll square again in both sides. So also in here, we'll square it. Then we'll take this square inside. So it will be x square. So here, x square. Then this square, which is so to be times square root of x under square root of x under square root of x, then bracket square is equal to 4. Then we multiply the powers. 2 times 2 is power of 4. Then in the next step, it will be x square times from here, this square root will cancel this square. So it will be times this, which is x square root of x under square root of x is equal to 4 power of 4. Then from here, this x is same as x power of 1. So it will be x, x square times x power of 1, it is x. Then we'll add the powers, power of 2 plus power of 1 is power of 3. Then times this square root of x under square root of x is equal to 4 power of 4. Then in the next step, we'll remove this square root here. So we'll square again in both sides. So the, we'll take this square inside the bracket. So to be x power 3, then bracket this square, then times this here square. So it will be square root of x under square root of x, then bracket square is equal to 4. Then power of 4 times power of 2 is power of 8. Then here it will be x power of 3 times power of 2, it is power of 6 times. From here, this square root will cancel this square. So it will be times this, which is x square root of x is equal to 4 power of 8. Then in the next step, this x is same as x power of 1. So it will be x power of 6 plus power of 1 is power of 7. Then times this square root of x is equal to 4 power of 8. Then in the next step, to remove this square root here, we'll square again in both sides. So we'll take this square inside the bracket. So it will be x power of 7. So power of 7 then bracket square, then times this square. So square root of x, then bracket square is equal to 4 power of 8 times power of 2, it is power of 16. Then into here to be x power of 7 times power of 2, it is power of 14. Then times into here this square to cancel square, so it will be times x. Then is equal to 4 power of 16. Then in the next step, from here, it will be this x is same as x power of 1. So it will be x power of 14 plus power of 1 is power of 15 is equal to 4 power of 16. Then to get the value of x, we'll power in both sides by this reciprocal of this, which is power of 1 over 15. And also in here, we'll power by 1 over 15. 15. So this and this will cancel then to be x power of 1, which is x is equal to 4 power of 16 times power of 1 over 15. It is power of 16 over 15. Therefore, this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem. 
4 power of 16 over 15. Now let's solve it in another method from this uh, problem here. Let's write this problem which is square root square root of x under square root of x under square root of x under square root of x is equal to 4. Then in this second method from here this x is under 1 square root so it will be x whereas this 1 square root so let's write this 1 square root so here 1 square root then times this x here is under 2 square root this and this so it will be square root then square root x times this x here is under 3 square root 1 2 3 so it will be square root square root square root then x times this x here is under 4 square root 1 2 3 4 so it will be square root square root square root square root of x is equal to 4 then in the next step here it will be x this square root here is same as power of a half times x here is under 2 square root so it will be power of a half then bracket power of a half two square roots then times x here we have three square roots so it will be power of a half bracket power of a half bracket power of a half then times here x this here we have four square roots so it will be power of a half bracket power of a half bracket power of a half bracket power of a half then is equal to this 4 then in the next step it will be x power of a half times here it will be x power of a half times a half it will be 1 over 2 times 2 is 4 times x power of a half times a half times a half it will be 1 over 2 times 2 times 2 it is 8 times x power of this time this time this time this it will be 1 over 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 it is 16 so here 1 over 16 is equal to 4 then in the next step it will be x power of a half plus 1 over 4 this plus this plus this plus this because it has same base of x then plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 is equal to 4 then it will be x here it will be the denominator 4 2 4 8 16 the denominator it is 16 so 16 divided by 2 it is 8 plus 16 divided by 4 it is 16 divided by 4 it is 4 4 times 1 is 4 plus 16 divided by 8 is 2 2 times 1 is 2 plus 16 divided by 16 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 then is equal to this 4 so it will be x power of 8 plus 4 it is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 over 16 is equal to 4 then in the next step here we'll find we'll multiply by the by the power of reciprocal of this so it will be x power of this which is 15 over 16 here we'll multiply by the power of reciprocal of this so 15 over 16 reciprocal it is 16 over 15 is equal to 4 reciprocal it is 16 over 15 so this and this will cancel this and this will cancel then it will be x is equal to 4 power of 16 over 15 so this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem 4 power of 16 over 15 same as the answer in the first method which is this thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye